court's verdict here states hijab is not an essential religious practice. Uh, give us the sense of what the arguments were that led to this decision. Prabhu, can you hear us? Prabhu, can you hear us? Yes, please. Yes, please. Who's? Okay, okay. Y yes, please. Yes, please. Go ahead. Prabhu, uh, our question here, Go Karnataka ahead, please. High Court's verdict very clearly stating that hijab is not an essential religious practice and therefore students cannot resist uniformity prescribed by the institutions. Uh, how do you really look at this verdict and what were the arguments that really led right. for the court to uphold the Karnataka government's decision and their definition on uniformity? Yes. If you could see, initially when the petition was presented, uh, they, they said that uh, we have a right to wear a dress of our choice. Mm -hmm. And that was resisted saying that institutional discipline will prevail over individual choice. But then in the second round, uh, the argument was raised by filing other petitions saying that since it forms part of essential religious practice, and uh, under Article 25 of Fundamental Right, therefore the question of uh, under the Karnataka Education Act, an institution of the government prescribing a school dress does not arise because fundamental right obviously is higher to any statutory right. Hmm. It is in that context the High Court was called upon to answer both the questions. Question number one was whether it forms part of essential religious practice. And while answering that, the court has relied upon the principles evolved by the Supreme Court in Shabarimala, four or five principles, okay. and has upheld that uh, there was no evidence produced by the petitioners to hold that it formed a part of ERP, and thereby denying that it was formed a part of a fundamental right. Secondly, it has held, once that is established, then the insistence of a particular school dress by every educational institution should be considered reasonable restriction and thereby the principle of institutional discipline prevailing over individual choice has been upheld. Hmm. So, so from what you say, it is the college discipline that is, uh, that is paramount, that will surpass any religious practice as well. As, as of now, since yes. uh, hijab is not an essential religious practice, as per declared by the Karnataka High Court, it appears that college disciplinary uh, committee and their guidelines is going to be held as paramount. That's, That's, That's going correct. to be the order. Uh, you know, there were a lot of arguments. Be, it ought to be, I'm sure everybody would agree, I'm sure everybody would agree with that that individual choices uh, would uh, result in chaos. Therefore, institutional discipline must prevail. Hmm. But, but it also comes under fundamental right to profess one's religion. Uh, how, is, how has that been uh, argued in court there? That's the question. That, that, is a, that was a fundamental question, whether it formed part of a re right to religion. Hmm. But uh, every practice does not form part of religion. Hmm. A religion has many aspects, moors, what the Supreme Court has held is, every practice does not form part of religion, but it is only those essential practices which form hmm. part of religion. Hmm. If in order to prove it is an essential practice, you have to undergo rigorous tests which the Supreme Court has laid down. Hmm. And I must say, petitioners had failed in each and every test prescribed by the Supreme Court. Hmm. Now, uh, we believe that petitioners are exploring legal avenues. They probably will approach the Supreme Court. Are you uh, following and tracking those developments, sir? No, I'm not following anything, but yes, and when if the do matter you believe goes the to the arguments, Supreme Court, we'll yeah. Do you believe the arguments will hold good there at all? Most certainly, most certainly. Judgments, the issues which we had raised and answered were based on the judgments of the Supreme Court and sound legal principles. We are very confident. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Prabhu, for joining us. That was uh, the Advocate General joining us, who has argued you. for the state of Karnataka. Karnataka government has been constantly harping on the fact that uniformity must be maintained. And it's not a new law.